Welcome back. The trial of rapper Tory Lanez begins today. He's accused of shooting fellow rapper Megan Thee Stallion in the foot in 2020. Prosecutors say Tory shot Megan after the two got into an argument while riding in an SUV in Los Angeles. And just last week, Tory was charged with an additional felony count of discharging a firearm with gross negligence. He has pleaded not guilty to all three felony charges in the case. ABC's legal contributor and host of the Law and Crime Network, Brian Buckmeyer, is following this case, and he joins me live now for more on this. Brian, from the moment Tory was arrested, rumors started swirling about his involvement. Megan Thee Stallion also received backlash when she accused him. So just walk us through why this case has been so contentious from the beginning, kind of how we got here and what we can expect in court today. Yeah, so this case goes back over two years ago now. July of 2020 is when the incident allegedly happens. But for most of the first couple of months, we didn't know who actually did the shooting until it was released out. Then you've got albums being put out by both sides claiming their innocence. And so the rumors kind of swirl and circulate as to whether or not Tory Lanez or Daystar Peterson, as his, his actual name is, um, did the shooting or whether or not someone else did the shooting. It actually came up in the preliminary hearings uh, that the other person uh, in the car, uh, Megan Thee Stallion's uh, assistant, had gunshot residue in her, on her hands. So who and what is kind of still up for right in the air. Why is there so much swirling? Why would they think that she would accuse the wrong person in this? I don't know. I mean, if you're listening to his albums, he's saying that people are out to get him, but it doesn't make sense. Uh, and, and that's kind of the difficulty of this case, I think, for Tory Lanez, is that all logical reasoning points to him being the shooter, this maybe being a night of intoxication and him pulling out a gun after an argument. And as uh, the prosecutor is saying that he shot at her feet, saying, dance, dance. Uh, but his argument is, it wasn't me. It was someone else. Now... There's also uh, attorneys for Lanes confirmed to ABC News on Tuesday that Kylie Jenner and Corey Gamble are on their list of possible witnesses. How likely are they to testify and is there any sense of what they might say? I don't think there's a great chance of them testifying. Of course, I would love for them to testify. I was going to give a number, I'd say maybe 40 or something just shy of 50%. But prior to the alleged shooting, they had both, being Megan and Tory, had gone to two different parties, one of them with Kylie Jenner. And so mm -hmm. they may testify as to how intoxicated they were, their relationship before the shooting, kind of plant the seed for either side as to why the shooting did happen or did not happen. Brian, Tory could face more than 20 years in prison in this case. How do you expect this to play out? What are you watching for as this case unfolds? I'm looking for Megan's testimony. I'm expecting probably even him to take the stand and testify. Medical reports. Uh, one of his famous lyrics from one of his songs is, how do you get shot and none of your bones or tendons in your feet get hit? And that kind of raised an eyebrow for me. Are we talking about a direct bullet to the foot or some sort of shrapnel? And maybe that's why they added this additional gross negligence charge. Um, I think from the medical, the testimony that he said, she said, that's going to tell us whether or not he's going to be doing any jail time in this case. It'll be interesting to see how this case has been playing out in music for all this time, now how it's going to actually play out in the courtroom. Yeah. Brian Buckmeyer, we appreciate it as always. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.